I'll be showing you how to install and run Vagrant on your Windows machine, whether be it Windows 10 or Windows 11, although I'm making use of Windows 11. So now, first of all, you download your virtual box using this link. As you can see, all the links are in the description. You just copy and paste it in your browser and enter. So now, since we are dealing with Windows, you go to Windows host, you click on it and you download, or I've downloaded mine already. Now, the next step is for you to install it. Now you can see mine here you can see the virtual box so you go ahead and you install it yes next so you make sure you don't change anything here just next so you see proceed with installation yes install so you are like to install as you can see mine is installing already so you see i don't want to start it so i'll just untick this place and then go to finish now the next thing is for you to download Vagrant. Now there's a link already there. You do as well. You copy the link. The link is in the, in the description. So you open another tab and you enter. Now you can see this when you, for Mac for those using MacBook. This is for those using Windows and Linux. Since you are dealing with Windows, you come here and then you make sure you download this one. And you make sure you first of all make sure what is here is the 2.3.4 latest then you come here and download i've already downloaded mine that's why it's showing this so i won't download it again now you go back this is more vagrant and then you install it you just double click on it now you go press next you select you press next now make sure you don't change anything here you press next and then you install yes so you allow it to install now you can see I finish you see it's showing me that I must restart my system make sure you restart now the next is to open command prompt now how you open your command prompt you come to your Windows or your start button you tap on it and then you simply type your command now you can see my command prompt so you simply open don't run as administrator just run it as open and now what I want to do is to switch it to my PowerShell now for those using Windows 10, you can simply just just type PowerShell. You can see we have you can use any of the PowerShell. They are going to work or do the same work. I prefer using PowerShell than Command Prompt. So you simply come here, but whether you run it in your PowerShell or Command Prompt is the same thing. Now you simply come here and you select this one, your Windows PowerShell. Now you can see we are under users, and under users we are under Bene Elohim Hub. So make sure you check. Make sure it's under users then under users make sure it's your username that is there before you proceed and you can confirm that by using the print working directly directory command and make sure after your c then users then the name of your computer my the name of mine is ben Elohim hub so now what you do next let's come back to our note I say the first thing to do is to add the Ubuntu 20.04 focal image to your box list. Now, how are we going to do that? This is how you do it. You run this first command. Now, all the commands are in the description. So, what you just do is copy and paste. So, I'm going to copy the first one. I will select everything, right click, and then. Now, coming back to my terminal, to paste it on my terminal, I'm going to just right click on my mouse. Now, once you right click, it's going to paste that command you just copied. And then you press enter and wait and make sure your system is connected to the internet or else it won't work and make sure you have data available so you can see that already i have a box already existing so since i have a box already existing i'll just move to the second one now the second one says vagrant init so this one is trying to the first one is to download the 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 image while the second one is to initiate it so now i'm going to copy the command and come back to my command prompt and do the same thing just right click to paste and then enter so you can see this file is already existing so since it's already existing i'll move to the third one now the third one, i'm going to copy the command and then right click copy then coming back here i'm going to right click to paste and then enter so you see it's now installing the vagrant vb guest plugin good 
So the next one, now we have to run our vagrant up. So we'll copy the command, come back to our command prompt, right click on it and then paste. So you can see it's trying to run the vagrant. So it's going to take a while. When it gets to this SSH alt method, column private key, you have to be patient as it's going to take a while. So you can see most of the times you have this issue. Now it says timeout while waiting. So you have this issue. Now, once you have this issue, you don't need to panic. What you need to do next is this one, what I'm going to show you now. Now, the solution is simply for you to, first of all, you run your V grant destroy. Now, once you do run your V grant destroy, then the next one, you run your V grant up. So let's try that and see. So now I'm going to do vagrant destroy. So to show you, are you sure you want to destroy default VM? I'll use Y for yes and press enter. So you can see it has shut it down. Now I will now run vagrant up once again. So now you can see it's done running the vagrant. So the last one is you now run your vagrant SSH. So I'm going to copy the commands, vagrant SSH, and then I'll come back to my terminal, right click to paste it and then enter. So now you can see I'm now inside my terminal. So it's showing me welcome to Ubuntu 20.04.5 LTS, blah, 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 and the rest. So now let me list. As you can see, it's as though the folder is empty, but I'm very sure there will be some hidden files. So to reveal all the hidden files, you run the ls flag a command. So you can see. So now this is officially my vagrant. So in case you want to log out of the vagrant, what you just need to do, it's just to exit, run the exit command. I can see I'm off. So let me clear my 